Y'all, look at this body. Like, just look at this body. This is natural hair. Like, can y'all believe this is natural hair? And who said natural hair couldn't get this straight? Hi, you guys. It's Kyra, and I'm here to give you guys Big Chop update number two. So, my very first Big Chop update I did back in, I believe it was August or September. It was like back in early fall. So it was quite a while ago and if you look at that video, I'll leave the link below. My hair was in a little TWA and I had just dyed it blonde. So I dyed it honey blonde like in the very top U section of my hair. Now I'm just wearing it in a natural little wash and go and my hair looks completely different in that video than it does now. And I'll tell you guys all about the changes of my hair and everything that I've done since then. So to start off, as I said, uh, back in August I dyed my hair blonde. Uh, I had dyed it to honey blonde color and I dyed it because I saw a picture on Instagram of a girl that had a similar uh, hair color and when I first dyed it I liked it and that lasted all of like two weeks and afterwards I just fell in love with it. I just didn't like it anymore. Like I don't know why I even did it. So uh, I decided to go for my go-to which is a weave. Um, I wore a weave for about two months straight afterwards. So I wore my head natural and then just that natural TWA that I had in the previous video for about a month and then did a sew-in for two months straight after that from September to uh, October and then October I took the sew-in now and got braids and wore the braids for about a month. So all together that was three straight months of protective styling. Two months of the sew-in and then one month of braids. And then in November I took the braids out and had to go back to my natural hair and just wear that for a little bit and give my hair a break. So I had to go back and dye my hair and I wanted a darker color so I did a mocha brown color you guys kind of see the pictures below but I did like a mocha brown like a light brown burgundy-ish color in my hair which I really really like I feel like the color really suited my skin tone and my facial, my facial features it, it just really looked good on me so I liked it and wore that color for about a month and a half uh, from November or from the middle middle of November to the end of December and I wore it. Remember after here I wore it in a wash and go and like a high puff. So it was doing pretty good but then decided that I wanted something new for the new year and my anniversary so of course I went back to the weave. So I got a full sew in in January and which is of course you know you have your extensions plus the closure and I wore that sewing for about two months or two weeks um, but wasn't feeling the full sewing so I went to a full wig and wore full wigs for about six months or six weeks I'm sorry so the sewing for two weeks and then the full wig for six weeks so I was two months straight and then it went to my Brazilian curly hair that I wanted for the spring and wore that for six weeks so for this year alone, I wore a weave straight for almost four months from January 1st to last Friday, which was which is April 10th. So that's almost four months of just straight protective styling. And you guys know that I love protective styling personally. I love sew-ins and weaves because for me, that's what works. Like that's what works for my hair as far as getting it to really grow and thrive. Um, protective styles just do my hair the most justice. I wore that straight for four or almost four months and then decided that I wanted to do something you know different and go back to my natural hair. But I wanted to stick with wearing my natural hair for a while just because I wanted something that was low maintenance, something that would be fun and sexy still even though I was wearing my natural hair. So I tried to go for a bob. Now I have been wanting to get a bob for forever. Um, but I was always too afraid when I had my hair, no, my hair is longer. I was always too afraid to like cut it to be, you know, this short because I had grown it out so much so it was when cutting it. Um, and I didn't want to cut it, but I had always wanted it. And so I figured now, you know, since I have short hair anyways, I can't do anything about it. So let's just go ahead and cut it and shape it up to be a really cute bob that I've always wanted. So. I opted to go for the bob and also opted to go for darker hair. Now, for anyone ask, I did not decide to go dark because Alicia dyed her hair black. Not at all. Alicia and I actually talked about dyeing our hair black a few months ago. Uh, we both had um, curly weave in. She had her little U part in that she wore for about a week or two. 
and I had that um, Brazilian curly hair in. And whenever I had that hair in, I had to dye my leave out uh, black color to help blend my natural hair with the extensions. And whenever I wore it, I absolutely just loved the way that dark hair looked on me, looked on my skin, so I looked on my facial features, all that. So I knew that whenever I took the weave out, I wanted to go darker. And so Alicia, she thought the same thing with her hair. So we both coincidentally wanted to go dark. I dyed my hair black myself on Thursday night. I came home, took my weave out, and then used the same coloring uh, box Alicia used, which is the Revlon Color Silk box dye. I used two boxes in the color soft black and black brown, mixed those two and got this color. And just applied that, you know, waited 20 minutes, rinsed it out, you know, the usual. And then deep conditioned and all that good stuff. And then that night I just twisted it and, you know, did something basic for work. And the following day on this past Friday, I went to my stylist. Um, her name is Kira Taylor. It's my first time going to her, but I will definitely be going back. Um, I went to her this past Friday. She is at Diva Style Salon here in Dallas, and I picked her because not only is she familiar with cutting hair, but she's also really familiar with working with natural hair, and that's really important to me as someone who knows how to deal with natural hair. So I found her on Instagram, um, visited her website, loved her, so I booked her. And I went to her Friday, and I got to her, we uh, washed my hair, conditioned my hair, blow dried my hair, and silk pressed my hair. And I love the way that she did it and her technique because she did everything in small sections. So from washing my hair to conditioning to blow drying and flat drying, everything she did was in smaller, smaller sections. Which is really good when it comes to heat because you don't want to really, you know, put a lot of heat on thick sections. Because for example, whenever it comes to blow drying, thicker sections take longer to dry. So you want to sit there putting the same heat on the same spot in your hair to get that part to dry. It's a lot easier to take, to break it into smaller sections so that way it doesn't require as much heat. And also it's flat ironing too. So whenever you blow dry my hair, she's parted it into small sections and then really focused on getting my hair as straight as she could with the blow dryer. And that really helped preventing us from needing too much heat on my hair with the flat iron. So we blow dried it in small sections and then we straightened it with the flat iron. And the one thing I loved is that she only used one heat pass, which is phenomenal, you guys. My hair got this straight with one heat pass throughout my, throughout my entire head. Only one. And then from there, we went to cutting. And I'll show you guys the video, that, or the picture that I showed here of what I wanted. Um, I went on the Cut Life, I don't know if you guys have heard of the Cut Life, but the Cut Life is an Instagram page that features a bunch of beautiful women that have short haircuts. So they have pixie cuts, short bobs, long bobs, it's any kind of hair that's cut into a style. And I went on there, stalked their page, and found a picture that I really, really loved. And I found this lady here, her name is Alexis J. And I found her picture, and found this picture, if you guys can see, but this is kind of what I was wanting my hair to resemble. Something that was just kind of basic, basic enough that if I wanted to grow my hair out or change it up, it wouldn't take too much. Uh, but, and also something that's basic enough that I can keep up with all the time. Something that was really cute and chic and just simple and perfect for the spring and the summer. And something I can just really feel sexy in, even though my hair is short. So I, I showed her this picture and she went to snipping and this is what we got you guys. Uh, the way she cut it is we found the longest part of my hair in the front. So right here, this is where my hair is the longest uh, after we, after we blow dried and flat ironed it. And so from here, because you want you know the, the front to be a little bit longer than the back, we started with this and then worked our way backwards. So we found that this part here was the longest and then she said, okay, well this is the longest and we have to cut this much here to give it that kind of angled angled bob effect. So that's what we did. So most of the length that was cut was cut from the back and we didn't touch the, the bang area at all or the front area at all. So again it was all from the back that got chopped. And you guys have seen the pictures now where my hair was uh, before and where my hair was after the cut. And as you guys can see my hair had grown quite a lot 
from my previous pictures. Uh, once he blow dried and flat ironed it, I was like, whoa, like, is this, that all, is that all my hair? Like, where did it come from? And again, because I didn't weave, so I didn't touch it, and didn't mess around with it and all that, my hair had grown quite a lot. All together, we cut off about two inches of my hair. So, you guys can kind of see the back. We cut off about two inches from the back. And this is what we're left with now. So I like it because it's still quite a lot of hair left um, and still, you know, enough to like style and braid and all that and just, it just looks really good and I really like it. Now, I will not be wearing my hair straight all the time now. I'll definitely be changing it up between wearing it straight and wearing it naturally curly. But I do plan to dabble a lot more in stretch styles. So I plan to wear my hair straight a lot and I plan to wear my hair like in, like in large perm mod sets or in blown out styles, something that's more, you know, stretched out and that shows more length um, for me. So I'll definitely be doing more of those, but as of now, I'll probably rocking the, rocking my short bob more often. I will be going two weeks uh, in between straightening my hair if I do straighten it again after, after this go round. Um, it'll be a minimum of two weeks. I'm really adamant though about, even though I do have my hair in a straight style, I do not want to put any extra heat on my hair and I don't want to do it too consistently. Like I don't want to put heat on my hair every day or every week. And if I do do it, it will be, you know, once every two weeks. And once I straighten my hair the first time to style it, that will be it. As far as styling my hair, my hair is really, really simple to style. At night, I just take this bang area here and I take it, this, this part here, put a roller in it and I kind of roll it to the front to kind of give that lift and volume. And then I just wrap the rest of it and wrap it with a satin uh, wrap scarf. And that is it in the morning I just take it down, comb down the wrap part and then run my fingers through it and then kind of fluff it towards the front. And that also helps give that kind of layered feathered effect on the side, you guys can see. But that's really it and I, it's just so easy and I realized that I just love, the reason why I love weave so much is because I just really like low maintenance hairstyles. Like I love hairstyles that take like five to 10 minutes maximum. And that's where Alicia and I really differ at when it comes to our hair. Because Alicia really likes, you know, doing our hair all the time and washing our hair two, three times a week and try new products and new hairstyles and all that. And I'm the complete opposite. I just like ease. I just like something that's quick, easy, and fast. And that is why I, I love weave so much. And so whenever I was deciding my next hairstyle, I knew that I wanted something that gave me the same kind of, you know, low maintenance feeling. So that's pretty much it for this Big Shop update. If you guys have any questions at all, anything that I may have mentioned or didn't mention, feel free to leave them below. And also, if you are on a hair journey, um, a natural hair journey or any kind of journey at all regarding your hair, then feel free to leave uh, any tips or tricks or comments or any kind of insight below uh, that you want to share with me and the rest of the viewers. I would love to hear what you guys are going through and what your journey is like so far. Um, as always, follow us on Instagram at Life of Valir and also check us out online at www.lifeofvalir.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye, you guys.